love vineyards are among the oldest and the most famous. It was the vision of a young entrepreneur, Rajiv Suresh Saman, a Stanford-educated engineer who quit his high-tech Silicon Valley job and decided to return to India to follow an entrepreneurial path. Realizing that Nasik has potential as a wine region, he crushed his first grapes in the year 1999 at his family's land and after that there has been no looking back. 1999 was really the first year when Sula came into being. Uh, that was when we crushed our first grapes from this vineyard that you can see right here behind you. Um, it was Sauvignon Blanc and Chenin Blanc grapes. And 2000 was when we produced our first bottle. So we've just about finished 10 years and it's been a fantastic ride. Established in the year 2000, Sula Vineyards manufactured a wide range of wines including red, white, sparkling and dessert wine with prices ranging between 150 rupees to over 1000 rupees per bottle. The best grapes are chosen carefully from the vineyards, crushed and their juice filled into tanks. The sugar from the juice is then converted into alcohol by yeast fermentation. And after a few more tests, the best quality wine is ready to be served to wine lovers. We crush the grapes, get the juice out and this goes into the tanks. So in the tanks, that sugar from the juice is converted into alcohol by yeast and then the wine is ready. So you cannot store the juice as it is, but when you convert it into wine, it stays for a uh, very long time and that's, that's the main process of wine making. Here at Sula, we do a, a very broad range of wines. We do red wines, white, rosé, sparkling, dessert wine. That's all the kinds of different wines we manufacture. Within that, I would say we have about 25 different brands. And the price point is all the way from 150 rupees in Maharashtra for the lowest priced wine, all the way to over 1000 rupees for our most expensive wine, our Rasa. Sula wines have a huge client base across the country. Wine lovers from different parts of the country come to Sula vineyards to taste their different wine. Wine that has even become the preferred choice of many restaurants and five-star hotels, including the Taj as well as the Oberoi groups. Sula is today the preferred wine of the Taj group. I think that's one of the most prestigious things for us because the Taj is the biggest and most prestigious um, hotel group in India. Apart from that, the Oberoi, the ITC group, the Leela group. So you can say all the major hotel groups in India are our clients and they're very satisfied clients of ours. Sula Vineyards have always focused on the quality of wines made by them. Stringent quality measures are taken at every process of winemaking to ensure that the best possible quality is produced. The company also has a well-equipped in-house laboratory where the quality of each wine is tested according to international norms for the right combination of ingredients. Sula Vines, we do take care of acid, alcohol, then there's VA, then uh, RS, RS is basically residual sugar because some of our wines are sweet. So taking care of all those parameters, we make the best of our wines. The wide variety of wines produced by the company, coupled with the quality that is maintained year on year, has made Sula Vineyards a leader in the Indian wine industry. With an ever-increasing demand, Sula achieved an impressive turnover of over 100 crore rupees in the last financial year and is very bullish about the years ahead. The Indian wine industry is growing really uh, rapidly, I think at about 25% year on year. This is because I think there is a lot of people who are taking to drinking wine, a lot of young people, a lot of people who have been drinking liquor, they are shifting to wine. So I think the market's growing very fast and uh, in terms of a uh, drink, it's basically it's a much healthier alternative where there are a lot of uh, antioxidants in red wine. So I think a lot of people are now attracted towards wine, which is a good thing. With Indians increasingly switching to wine from hard liquor, the industry is seeing a growth rate of over 25% every year. This, along with Nasik's favorable climate conditions for wine cultivation, is ensuring a bright future ahead for companies like Sula.